Now you know how to list directories and files in Linux shell and for that you could use command ls list and with such option as l you could see result in a table format that contains not just the names of directories and files but also their permissions, date when they were created and other information. With A option you could see also hidden files and folders that start with dot. And there are also other options and we will have a look at them a bit later. Now please cd to root folder cd forward slash and please type here ls-la. And here you see some directories and files located in the root directory. Please note that in my case I have such files as stdr.txt, stdr.txt, test.txt and hello.txt. And basically it's not a good practice to create uh, some files and folders inside of the root directory. Because this root directory must contain only root directories like uh, media, mnt, proc, run and so on. If you want to create uh, any directories and files, please do that only in home directory. And home directory for this particular root user is slash root. If you are logged in as non-root user, then your home directory will be located in slash home folder, in this one, home. That's why let me start by quickly removing all those files that are present in root directory. For that I could use command rm, remove. And here as an argument I'll type name of the file, like hello.txt. And if I want to remove multiple files, notice that uh, those files all have extension .txt, I could use wildcard rm star .txt. And if I press enter and list the files and folders now, I will not see any .txt file here in this list. Alright, let me now briefly explain you most commonly used directories here in root directory. First uh, directory is etc. This directory contains different configuration of files. Let's have a look at contents of this etc directory. And here you see such uh, files as e2scrub.conf, mke2fs.conf and so on. Also you see some folders like uh, kernel, opt and so on. If I have a look at the contents of kernel folder ls etc slash kernel, I'll see just single subdirectory postinst.d. I could uh, ls uh, files and folders here in this subfolder, I could use tab, let's press enter and here I see single file in green color apt auto removal. Let's uh, check permissions for this file ls uh, and let's add here dash l option. Actually if you want you could quickly go to the beginning of a command by pressing Ctrl A, like so. And by pressing Ctrl E, you could go quickly back to the end of the command. That's why here I could go to the beginning of the command, Ctrl A, and add here dash L option, like so. And now I see that uh, this apt auto removal is file, here we see dash, but its permissions are read, write, and execute, here you see x. And that's why this file is colored in green. All executable files in bash shell are green. Great, that's how we were able to see contents uh, of a kernel directory in etc directory, that is located in the root directory. Great, let's again list files and folders in root directory and let me show you a folder called bin, here it is, and sbin. Let me scroll a bit down, here it is, sbin. And in this case, those uh, Folders are actually simply links to other folders like user as bin and uh, user bin. And that's because uh, this uh, Linux computer is running inside of the Docker and uh, it has some optimizations and that's why bin and as bin folders here are actually missing. But let me quickly go to this Ubuntu computer and first let's cd it to root directory and enter ls-la here. I see that bin and sbin are separate directories. And for example, if I list files and folders in bin folder, I see bunch of executables and some other directories. And actually this bin folder contains uh, different executables that uh, I used uh, for start uh, of the system and that are used by all users. 
Also, there is a folder Asbin. Let's have a look at contents of Asbin folder. And here you'll see a bunch of other executable files like dump, IP tunnel, MKFS, CCTL, and so on. And those executables are not supposed to be started by any non root users, and they could be called system files and executables. All right, the structure of bin and as bin folders. And here in this Docker container, you see simply links to user as bin and user bin folders. And now let me explain you quickly structure of user directory cd user. And this directory contains actually some user related files and it contains directories like bin, include, lib and so on. And let's have a look, for example, at contents of sbin directory, ls sbin. And here in this output I see similar utilities that we have seen in separate Ubuntu computer, this one. And here I see, for example, sysctl, su login and so on. Those are system executable files. Great. Let me go back to root and the list files and folders again. And here you'll find also such folder as a TMP that could be used for storage of any temporal directories and files. And this folder could be written and read by all users in the system. Here you see full privileges. All right. I will not explain you in details what is the purpose of other folders like media, MNT, proc and so on. I have explained you only just most commonly used directories. That's all for this lecture and in the next one let me show you how you could create new files and directories. I'll see you next. Bye-bye.